Hey, y'all, and welcome to Warrior's Corner. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, I'm so glad that you decided to join me again today on this great Tuesday. Listen, y'all, happy Tuesday to each and every one of you. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell on all. If you have not, remember to hit that like button so that I can get in your algorithm and comment your thoughts and opinions down below so that we can keep the conversation going. So <clears throat> this, y'all, really, really, like, Y'all know I believe in strong black love. I love a black love relationship, whether it be a man, a woman, a woman, a woman, a man, a man, whatever it is. I just love a strong black love relationship. And this strong black love right here, y'all, when this when this came out, this hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, I don't believe in love no more. Love doesn't live here anymore. It, that's that's what it was giving. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about Tia Maury and Corey Hardrick. This news right here broke my heart. So back earlier last year in October, Tia announced via Instagram that her and Corey were going their separate ways, y'all. And it was just like, oh my God. Y'all, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. 14 years of marriage. They've known each other since the early 2000s. I mean, it. I'm just like, we're 22 years in, y'all. Like, 14 years of marriage. Two beautiful children. Uh, um, Cree and uh, um, uh, Cairo. I mean, they, they just... They were like, for me, the example of black young love with two beautiful children. So, you know, here, um, e on, ET Online reports that Tia Mallory and Corey Hardrick finally divorced, uh, finalized divorce six months after announcing separation, y'all. So this just like, my heart is hurt. Let's listen to this little clip here. Let's see what she's talking but at the end of the day, I feel like it is so, so worth it. Tia Mowry opens up about her divorce. So, you know, she just talked about being so worth her happiness, her sanity, and not to say that she was going insane or anything like that, but, you know, there's, sometimes there comes a point in your life where you just have to grow your separate ways, you know, and you have been growing your separate ways. And so it's time to just take that leap of faith. So Tia Mari and Corey Hardricks have officially ended their 14 year marriage. Okay. Six months after the family reunion alum revealed that she had filed for divorce from Hendrix after 14 years of marriage, their split has been finalized. According to documents obtained by ET, the pair um, entered into written agreement regarding regarding their property and their marriage or domestic partnership rights, including support. As for their custody agreement, as far as their custody agreement goes, the former couple who shares son Cree 11 and daughter uh, Cairo 4 have upheld the arrangement um, purposed in Maury's October filing, okay? Um the 44-year-old requested legal and physical joint custody and acts to terminate the court ability to, um, to award spousal support, citing a, uh, uh, a premarital agreement, okay? So, I mean, it sounds like according to what we've read so far that everything is very clean, everything is very smooth, very pristine. It's it's ironed out, ain't no wrinkles in it. Everybody agrees, everybody has an understanding. So, you know, and, and, and it's been finalized. So it looks like the stamp and the seal is on it. It's approved, it's done, okay? Maury, uh, Ma Ma Maori announced uh, the former couple's decision to end their marriage in an October 4th Instagram post. Despite ending their union, the couple made it clear to the, that their children's happiness is the highest priority, okay? So um, I'm just like, still like, We've been dating since the 2000s. Like, and I guess, like, I don't know. I'm a believer of, like, the type of love. Like, if we've been together this long, there's got to be something that we can do to make it work. Like, as long as there's not no physical abuse going on, no mental, emotional abuse, you know, uh, cheating. 
I don't know. I can't tolerate cheating. That's just not a tolerable thing for me. And so that may be for her too. So if this is due to cheating, you know, then mm, sorry for you. When E.T. spoke with uh, her um, shortly after she announced, Mallory smiled proudly as she reflected on how she was feeling just weeks after sharing the news with her fans. I am doing fantastic. I'm doing great. I feel very blessed. I feel very honored to be here, Mallory shared. Um, I am all about women empowerment and supporting women. So she, and you can't be upset at someone for really feeling happy in the position that they are in in life. I mean, she is really just in a place of gratitude, of happiness, of, you know, encouragement. She just, she's in a good space. And how can you be mad at somebody that's in a good space? Okay. I'm going to jump down here and then we're going to close out this article. Um, since then, Mallory and Hardrix have done their best to present a united front, especially when it concerns their children. Two months after the actress um, shared the news of the divorce, the pair reunited for family celebration over Christmas. So here are those beautiful family pictures for Christmas. You know, I love that they can all still come together and be on one accord and, you know, celebrate their family and their unity, y'all. So um, the divorce finalization comes days after the 17 Again star. Let me tell you, Tia and Tamara, they got some hit movies and shows, okay? So the 17 Year Old Again star opened up about her life posting split on um, her social media, okay? So she talks about that here. And if you want to go read that, you can go follow Tia over on Instagram at Tia Mori. Um, And so, you know, as Tia noted, they are the reason to continue um, to push myself, talking about her children, every day to work harder. Even when the going gets tough, I do everything for my kids, for their future, and for the generations to come. So, you know, I'm glad that Tia, you know, has been able to push past this hard, hard time. You know, you know, no divorce is easy. No separation is easy. No loss of a relationship is easy. But we have to do things for our peace and for our sanity and for our happiness. And, you know, so often, you know, I'm going to kind of talk about, you know, Wendy Williams real quick. Wendy Williams stuck in her marriage for her son. She told us every day on TV, you know, she you know, wants her son to be a part of the family. She wanted the family unit. She wanted him, you know, to have mom and dad in the household. And she took the risk, you know, of her husband having an outside chick, you know, and, you know, spending up their money and, you know, the things that she is now going through. She took that risk to have her son in a two-parent household. And what has it done? But caused more disaster, more destruction, and, and more separation. I, I, I'm going to ride with Tia on this as bad as I wanted them to stay together, like, and as hurt as my heart was, because like I told y'all, y'all know how I love some black love. I was just, I was devastated when it happened. It was a clutch in the pearls type of moment. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, this cannot be real. But, you know, for the children's sake, for my sake, for the sanity's sake, if it's best for us to go our separate ways, God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. That's all I got for you, okay? So y'all leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. Were y'all as shocked as I when Tia announced her divorce from Corey on Instagram back in October? I was just really toe up. I, I was in my feelings big time. And I would really like to know where Corey stands at this point in time. I know, you know, at one point in time, at one point in time he was saying he was fighting for his marriage. He wasn't going to let it go. He wanted to see this to the end. Well, we've reached the end of the road, and it's been finalized. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. And hit that notification bell on all so you see each and every time I post a video with you in mind. I'll catch y'all later on in Royer's World. And remember, if you got to go, get out and go. Bye, y'all. <laughs>